Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Leadership Vision Podcast. Happy New Year. I'm not sure how long you can continue saying that, but it is still the new year uh, here at the time of recording this. And today's podcast episode is a bit of a look back to look forward. Uh, Last year, right around this time, Linda and I did an episode where we were just talking about everything that's happening new with Leadership Vision for 2022. And so that we thought, Brian, Linda, and I, we thought that we would sit down and do something similar. And so we had this whole idea mapped out because Leadership Vision is going to be um, not really changing, well, a little bit changing, but shifting and getting, or I should say, getting more clear about what it is that we're doing, what it is that we are offering to our clients, how we are helping um, people understand and express their beauty and their brilliance and taking that information into their various roles of influence and spheres of uh, leadership from, you know, families to the boardroom and everything in between and outside of that and whatever. And so we had this whole thing mapped out. And then I think Brian said, you know, we should really pause and take a moment to reflect back on kind of how we got to this point. And in doing that, we have three questions for you to kind of wrestle with as you think about what your contributions are to your team uh, in 2023. Last week, I recorded an episode just by myself that asked um, a little bit of a similar question around self, self-reflection self and kind of understanding yourself and how you apply that information to different contexts. And so I think that this simple activity will be a good extra activity for you to do. So there's three questions. It's in the show notes. And We'll each expand on these in this episode here today. But the first question to ask yourself is what stands out about this past year? How have you grown in the past year? And what contributions have you made? It's a little bit vague on purpose, but we think that that will really uh, set you up to get the most out of this episode. And uh, yeah, just enjoy this episode. Please reach out. You can send me an email directly, Nathan at leadershipvisionconsulting.com if you have any questions about what you're listening to here or just any other ways that we might help you and your team um, become just better versions of what you want to be this year. So here is Brian and Linda Schubring and myself talking about, um, well, some upcoming things for Leadership Vision, but how we got there. Enjoy. Brian and Linda, welcome back to the Leadership Vision Podcast. Thank it's you. Been, Nathan. Happy it's New Year. A happy New Year, indeed. It has been a while since we have recorded. Mm-hmm. Um, we pre-recorded a bunch of stuff and then took some time off over the holidays. I'm really looking forward to this conversation today where we're going to essentially share with people what we're doing in 2023. Not everything, of course, because that would take hours and hours. But I recently got a like an overview of our podcast from last year Mm -hmm. and what leadership vision is doing in 2022 was in our top 10 most listened to podcasts. So we're going to try something like this again. And Brian, I'm wondering if you can set this up for us because this is actually going to be a multi-part episode where we talk about the direction uh, the leadership vision is taking, but we're going to sort of explain the process because there's some, I think really actionable, valuable uh, tips and resources in that, that I mm-hmm. think any business leader, any, uh, you know, household leader, any nonprofit, whoever can kind of get out of that as they are envisioning, you know, maybe what they want their year to look like, or if they're thinking of some, you know, significant or minor shifts in how they want to do their business. I think there's some value to it. So uh, set this episode up a little bit for us, and then we'll dive into our, what do we have, three questions that we're going to answer? Well, Nathan, you did say that our most popular podcast was the (laughs) What Are We Up To in 2022. I didn't didn't know that until (laughs) this morning. Um, What we've been working on lately has been really identifying the direction and the changes that Leadership Vision is going in in 2023. And there are some significant changes that we'll be introducing uh, for the company. And I just, and we have recognized that they are significant changes to who we are and to what we're doing. And that has been maybe a month's worth of work of trying to sort that out. And so I, I thought, how is it that we can introduce you know, who we are in the, in the direction that we're going for 2023? And then I kind of backed up and thought, 
Wouldn't it be helpful if people got a chance to know what our journey was? Like, how did we get here? So what was happening in, in 2022 that like introduced us into this idea of, you know, what is next for the company? And then looking ahead into 2023, you know, what are some of the things that we're expecting to happen and some experiences that we're planning on? Then, you know, really, what are those changes? And that's going to hopefully be episode number three, and then finishing with episode number four of us sharing really a, like a call to action of who we are as a business and who we are as individuals that are leading the business. So we're looking forward to a four part series on what is new and what is changing with Leadership Vision. And today will be episode number one of four. And some of one it's just of new and improved and some of it is just a slight change in direction. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. Totally different and a little bit the same. Exactly. So we have three questions here that each of us are going to answer. And we're going to answer them in the context of 2022. Because as we mentioned, we have kind of these big visions and things that are coming, but like, how did we get there? So we're going to reflect on that a bit. And these are the questions I think anyone can answer. So if you're listening, as I read this, I'm going to read them how the three of us will answer them, but obviously you can tweak and adjust them for yourself. So question one, what experiences stand out as meaningful and shaping? Question number two, how did each of us grow? And more specifically, in what areas and how has this growth uh, changed us? Question three, what contributions did we make to the lives of those we love? Those That could be family members, friends, clients, really however you want to define that. Uh, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Ooh. Yes. I'll go first. I love the Linda. volunteer. Um, because there were so many experiences that shaped me, but I think the move from being mostly virtual to being in person, that that experience really uh, allowed me to grow in a lot of different ways. I didn't realize how much I rely on my physicality to mm. present or to speak. And when we're doing that together on Zoom, I'm just sitting here and I don't use all the energy. I don't walk around. I don't interact. Um, and even being in person and hearing people speak to one another, that that was so shaping for me. And in a lot of ways, it allowed me to be who I am as a host in conversations and a facilitator with groups of people. And I was able to, I think, grow in the ways or realize that I had grown in ways that I've become more, more re responsive and less reactive and mm. just noticing things that I hadn't before because in some ways they were new to me. I was noticing how many cups of coffee this person was having when they were <laughs> when they would go to the coffee bar on the side of, of the room during the during the facilitation. And I think the that that my growth then began to shape, you know, the two of you by ways that, that you could rely on me or even how it began to structure different meetings that we that we have and so as far as the, the contributions that I have made to the lives of those that I love those that I work with those that I live with I just realized that in some ways where my light has been able to be shown more into the world that 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 has allowed people to discover their own light uh, we had a uh, one of our participants in the strengths communicator training just said you guys are keepers of the flame you shine light you reveal the light but you're keepers of the flame you don't steal ours you help ours hmm. shine brighter as well and that's that's the contribution i want to continue to make yeah who's gonna go I, next can i go next yeah hmm. all right so first question what experiences stand out as meaningful and shaping so this was technically in 2021 <laughs> and i've talked about this before but in christmas day 2021 I had an, uh, my appendix taken out, and which is an awesome way to spend the Christmas holiday. And so it wasn't that big of a deal, but it just kind of hit me about like how precious life is and how at any time, any moment, something unexpected can come up that will just totally derail your life. And so I started 2022 with that in mind and this idea of how, how am I spending my time? Um, is the fight that I'm... I had last night with my wife about loading the dishwasher, how I want to be spending time. Is that worth it? Like, because this, you know, life, our life is so precious and every moment is so valuable. How are we spending that? And so, um, 
yeah, that's just really stuck to me with me, especially as we're rethinking, uh, you know, a third of our life is spent, you know, on work. And so is the work that we're doing at Leadership Vision meaningful and valuable and delivering as much as it as it could be in this new uh, post-pandemic world of virtual and in-person and all that stuff. And so um, when I think about how I have grown, it's really been about maximizing my time, maximizing the things that we're doing for our clients. I mean, one of the contributions that I've made, I'm kind of just blending all three, three of these questions together, is uh, we spent some money uh, speeding up our website, which is sort of like <laughs> basic, but it has really helped as we're delivering more and more stuff online and virtually, and people are reading our resources online. And, you know, I think about some of the things I've done in my family with all my kids know how to swim now that we did that this year. And my youngest can now ride her bike. And there's some of these, these skills and life lessons that they can never forget how to do. And how that has anything to do with leadership vision and kind of the direction that we're headed. And where I think the value is to people listening is that sometimes when we, Brian and I were talking about this before we started recording, sometimes I think I'm not good at, at expressing gratitude for the little things. Like we maybe just look at like the big picture, you know, did we hit sales numbers? Did we, you know, whatever. And it's some of these little things that are the defining moments of life that it's so easy to ignore them and they just, or not acknowledge them and they just fly by. And so as, as we are thinking as a company about, you know, every little detail of the business and what we're going to be doing for our clients and how do we help uh, everyone we interact with have that five-star experience where they can better understand and explain the beauty and brilliance of who they are. It's like in the little things, in the big things, in everything in between. So I kind of want to record all four of these podcasts right now because I'm just so excited about <laughs> uh, this idea. Um, but I do think it's important to reflect about kind of like how did it come there? How did we all get there? So Brian, what about you? I think you've uh, written a few books at least in your mind, about all of these ideas? <laughs> well, the experiences that stand out to me um, when I first began to ponder this several weeks ago, I've, I, um, I felt really frustrated with myself in not being able to identify some of these experiences that I thought I should be able to readily because mm. if you know me at all, I'm like a mountaintop and canyon kind of guy. Like there's like these really <laughs> big experiences, these really dramatic lows. There's nothing in between. And... Um, and I couldn't identify that for the past year, but the reason why is because of the one experience that does stand out of the entire year, and that was that I've been seeing a mindfulness and performance coach every week for the entire year of 2022 and part of 2021. That experience has been life transformational for me, and, and I think that everything else that has happened in the last year is kind of in the background of that experience and how that affected me, because the growth that I've experienced um, is is twofold. There was a, a tremendous amount of professional growth that I experienced through the year in a lot of the things that we were creating and what we were writing and what we were delivering. And there are a lot of personal and physical changes that I was going through um, as a result that I was doing with this coach. And those two things together rep represented a type of growth that I haven't experienced before. It was professional, it was personal, it was emotional, it was spiritual. It was all these things coming together and the level of growth that happened for me over the year was unlike any other year of my life. So that to me is the experience and the growth and the contribution. You know, that one's hard for me because I, I feel that there has been a way that I've been present with people that maybe availed mm -hmm. more of myself to individuals that I was aware of sometimes, other times I, I wasn't aware of because the types of comments that we've been receiving back from the clients that we've been working with and that have gone through our, our training have been different than they have been before. And that to me is a, a reflection of a type of contribution that we are consciously attempting to make that's different as well as this other side that I'm really not aware of, but that we're just being received a little bit differently. And that's been noted. So I feel that that contribution um, really stems from my being able to love and accept myself in a different way than I have before. Mm -hmm. And that's impacted every other area of the way that I live my life, the experiences that are meaningful and how I've been growing. Brian, I was joking 
earlier that we, I feel like I'm at 51% of this, this gratitude, appreciation and changing and thinking about every moment, meaning I'm doing it just a little bit more than I'm not doing it. <laughs> and I think that that's, okay. I don't know, kind of all that we can hope for as, as we um, sort of pursue these things. So it's all about practice, right? It's that's all right. about practice right. and progress, not perfection. Yeah. And I can attest to the growth that I've seen and experience in both of you. I think, I think all of us have been on a journey of, you know, Nathan, you talk about your appendix. We've all had areas of pain or suffering, uh, things mm -hmm. that we've had to endure. And I know that sometimes those, it's those, those experiences that sharpen us the most, hmm. yeah. um, and allow, a, allow our contribution to actually be genuine. And I think that's, mm -hmm. that's why this is not like new in 2023. <laughs> this is okay. These are all the things that we practiced and we mm -hmm. learned, uh, in 2022. Yeah, that's really true. 2022. That rhymes Dr. Seuss over here. Uh, <laughs> you know, you mentioned it felt like a flat year in some ways, but I think through all of that flatness, if you will, like we learned a lot, we learned about what we don't want to do. We learned a lot about what we do want to do. And, you know, sometimes it does take that, <clears throat> that pain or lack of growth to realize kind of, kind of, kind of what we want to do moving forward. So yeah. any final thoughts here, Brian or Linda? As we end this episode number one, um, what I'd like to do is maybe invite our listeners to maybe go through this same process for themselves. Think of all the experiences and the ways that you've grown, the contributions you made in, in 2022. And like, maybe this practice is something that you can participate in. Think for yourself on what were those experiences that really stand out for you as meaningful and shaping to who you are as a person, a family member, as a professional. And I just encourage you to like, just jot a couple of those things down. The second question is, how have you grown? Think of all the different areas of your life and the ways you've overcome challenges or that you took advantage of opportunities. How have you grown? What are some of the things you left aside or some things that, that you kind of incorporated into who you are and jot a few of those notes down to yourself as well. And then think about the contributions you made. Think about those people that are in your life that, that you would humbly say, you know, because of me, their life is a little bit different than it was before they, they met me. I, I made a contribution to your friends, to your partner, to your spouse, the people that, that you work with, jot those things down. And, you know, once you've gone through that exercise, I would encourage you to share that with someone, uh, sit down and maybe share some of the things that you're learning about yourself through this exercise. Um, if you're working on a team, um, I wouldn't hesitate to introduce this activity to a team that works together um, to give people a chance to do the reflection and, and to share out some of the, the meaningful and challenging experiences, areas of growth and contribution that they've had over the past. I think it'd be just an amazing uh, exercise to do with team members as a way to kick off the year. Thank you, Brian and Linda. I appreciate talking to you. I'm excited to see where this goes. Me too. And thank you for listening to the Leadership Vision Podcast, helping build, helping you build a positive team culture where people are mentally engaged and emotionally healthy. Yeah, we'll try that. Thank you for yeah. listening to the Leadership Vision Podcast, sharing our expertise in the discovery, practice, and implementation of a strengths-based approach. Thank you for listening to the Leadership Vision Podcast, sharing our expertise in the discovery, practice, and implementation of a strengths-based approach to people, teams, and culture. For more resources about developing your strengths, the strengths of your team, or the strengths of your entire organization, click the link in the show notes or visit us on the web at leadershipvisionconsulting.com. And if you found value from this episode or any of our other resources, we would A, appreciate if you would review us on iTunes and B, and maybe more importantly, share this with someone you think would benefit from growing deeper in their strengths, the strengths of their team, or the strengths of their entire organization. I'm Nathan Freeberg. I'm Linda Schubring. And I'm Brian Schubring. And on behalf of our entire team, thanks, thanks for listening. For listening. <laughs> Yay, and done. <laughs> <laughs>